Adventure Oshkosh, we're down in the ultralight area, my favorite part of the show where all the charming airplanes are and some pretty cool people too. I'm Dan Johnson, I'm talking with David Cooper here. And we know Team for many years, David, but what's the name of the company now? And give us a little of your more recent history since you took it over with your partner. It's Team Minimax now, and it was formerly Team Aircraft and then JDT Minimax, but uh, the former owners had retired, and I took it over with other partners, and we're continuing on Wayne Eisen's uh, uh, legacy. Yeah, he was a great guy. We, we miss Wayne, but he started some great stuff, and we're glad somebody has stepped up to continue that activity, so good for you. I'm actually honored on that. Well, that's a great thing. I'm glad you feel that way, and I'll bet you a lot of your customers, there's a good many of these out there, so, since we just touched on that, tell me how you're supporting the people that built the team aircraft, the JDT ones. How are you helping those folks out when they need something? We give full support on all prior uh, aircraft that was built. Uh, we give full support for those that even all have, models, uh, every single model, Beautiful. Uh, except for the air bike. The air bike is the only one that we don't have the rights to anymore. If they download the plans and do a plans build they can still call us 24-7 and we're going to give them full support, uh, just as if they bought it from us. Um, our, our main thing is we want Minimaxes out there. We want people to have minimum cost and maximum fun because that's what it, Wayne's Eisen goal was and uh, his philosophy, and we carry on that tradition. Well, as long as you mention that, how's it been going? Uh, not specifically at this show or whatnot, but generally, how have you been doing since you took over? Uh, it's been a steady climb. Uh, we've had over 2,000 downloads of the free plan. Really? Since um, you took over? Since I've taken wow. over. That's pretty and impressive. We have come up with two new designs, which was the Super Max, and then our newest one that's in development is our two place high, um, high wing. Epic Sport. Okay, I want to come back to that one. We'll do a little focus on that, but tell me about the other one you just mentioned. The Super Max yeah. that came out uh, last year, and uh, we hit the around so far. One here in Arizona and the other one in Canada, and they are getting close to the client state. Okay, and you also mentioned that you've got a follow on to the um, air bike. Yes, we have the Aeromax, which is a single place, 14 inch wide body um, with a 300 pound uh, carrying capacity for a pilot. Uh, and we are now in development at our Australian factory, a one plus one, where you'll have a, uh, a two place tandem aero bag. All right, well that's cool. And uh, we're glad you're doing that. And I got to tell people that they haven't been aware of what a air bike was. A 14 inch wide cockpit clearly means nobody fits in it, you fit on it. You ride it like a Harley in the sky. So that's pretty cool. We're glad you're still doing that. And uh, okay, let's kind of focus a little bit on what is to me a brand new creation. You corrected me, you said there was one earlier, so mention what you're doing now. We'll go do that and then we'll come back for some detail on the other, on the one you're currently doing. Okay, there was a, a TA3 that was developed by Team Aircraft back in the 80s, uh, but I think it was a little early for its time, and so it never really hit it off big. Um, but it was a uh, mid-wing design, and uh, it's still around, and uh, it, it's just not flying. The, the gentleman that has it... Uh, oh, somebody does actually own it. He that actually one. owns okay. it, okay. but he won't sell it, because I've tried to buy it. <laughs> Uh, so we decided with all of the interest in our in China because we have five aircraft over there now really and I just sent two more over that they're going to start building and they're opening up their lower altitudes yes they are uh, right. which was controlled by the military only so we're going we developed a two place to go over there and train them. beautiful okay so let's come back to the new one now Give us the name of it again, and then you gave me some great information about it before, David, if you'll just kind of review what you told me again. Okay, it's the Epic Sport. Epic Sport. Epic That's Sport. a big name for us. Yes. Uh, it, it has two uh, six-gallon fuel tanks. It has flaps and ailerons. It has streamlined struts. It comes with a full VW by Scott Kassler, Hummel Engine. Hummel Engine which Company, is a okay. Great company. Dual ignition electronic and magneto, carb heat, 
electric start, 85 horsepower, your prop, full instrument panel, dual controls, streamlined struts, aluminum spring gear, hydraulic brakes, under tires, 18 inch, in-flight adjustable elevator travel, and you can get it in a dry gear, a tail dragger, a fast back, or a wraparound <laughs> rear windshield. We are preliminary figures. You should cruise 80 to 85, uh, 300 foot takeoff, stall speed 35 to 40, and carry two 230 pound pilots wow. with 30 to 50 pounds of baggage. Wow. So it's quite the package. Now you haven't flown it yet, we'll caution we have people, not but, flown uh, it yet, and but those are some great pieces of information you just relayed. Uh, we've run the numbers pretty tight to see what we're going to get. And we're at 34 foot wingspan. The wings are removable. Okay, nice big wing then, yeah. And the biggest advantage is it's a fast build, 300 to 400 hours. Really? All right, you just told me a number of 300 hours, and we wanted to get a little closer to the airplane so you can see what it is. And that, to me, that's a kind of surprising number. And, and for that reason, I look at this and I go, wow, this is really pretty. Wood airplanes have a certain beauty to them. But when I look at the pieces and parts, I kind of go, wow, no way, 300 hours. How are you making that number? The reason we're making that number is because the wing kit and the impinage kit are all laser cut parts. So it's like putting a puzzle together. And we use the T88 two part epoxy glue. And the impenage also is not only laser cut, but full scale drawings. Uh -huh. And those are really handy. You lay the part handy. directly on the on plan. The brand. Yeah. And so you, you, there's no question about having it in the right spot. No it's kind of like doing a puzzle with the whole puzzle drawn out below you. And we've done the same full scale drawing on the fuselage. Right? So it doesn't get any easier than that. Now, the one thing I know about that is you got to have kind of a big table to lay the plans out on because yes. the plans are the this will, airplane this size. This will require a larger table, about a 5 foot by 20 foot table, but it can be worked on uh, with some modifications to your table, a little uh, a job to lay off of yeah. it. Um, but it, it's a very fun project to build. Um, I've had several builders that love to build that are uh, just going to buy this kit just so that they can build one. Yeah, I know there's a certain group of people that it's the craftsmanship more than the flying when it gets done. They're they're kind of into the process. And but back, I'm looking at some of these parts here, and I don't know if the camera will show all this, but this is a giveaway that uh, you've got some laser stuff going on because they're all very nicely lettered. The camera can't see that one I'm looking at, but that little part, that little gusset right there has got lettering all over it. That uh, it, That's eliminating a lot of what some people go, wow, this looks like a a really big project. It's going to take me 3,000 hours to build. 300? Now, That's if, you, pretty quick. if you'll notice the, the cabin width, 40 inch. Wow. And we're going to offer it with bubble doors. So if somebody wants yeah, to get okay, a, get a little, elbow room. little bit of elbow room, or uh, they can get up to 44 inches. So review again the size guys that can fit in this thing. That's a, some Two great 230 pound pilots. And some baggage. And some baggage. And the whole thing's going to get in the air after those. Gross weight, 1149. Is that right? Wow. So all good numbers. I'm really impressed by that. But you had one other number we got to talk about. And folks, we don't normally do too much with price because these videos can last a while. We'll give you a web address at the end of the video. We'll put it on screen for everybody. But talk to me about the cost that you told me earlier because I was surprised. Well, with value. a lot of, lot of aircraft kits, they don't come complete. But this one you can get as a complete package for 18500 including everything but your primer and paint. And that yes, includes the engine. That includes the engine. <laughs> I hear that. Does that mean the engine? Well, yes, it's just it does. the reason why is because people go, well, okay, a kit for that, but we, that can't include all that other stuff. But we, it does. This is our one way of bringing back Wayne Ison's uh, legacy is we have the Epic Sport at a minimum cost, maximum fun, <laughs> performing plane that is versatile for many, many a applications. We have a few of the larger pilots um, that have, I've talked to that would like to get the same thing with a single control so that they can fly such a beautiful plane uh, and maybe even take it's a the same grand exact airplane, but just with a single. With a single and we well, that'd be a really and, roomy airplane then, and wouldn't And we're going to accommodate them. Is that them. right? Cool yes. for you. Well, I really appreciate you doing that. I knew Wayne. I got to, I didn't fly with him because he had mostly single-seaters until you yeah. educated me further. But 
I knew the man well. He was a great guy. He did some wonderful work. Kept airplane prices down where lots of people can afford them. Here's Team Minimax with the answers that you need if your budget is a little tighter. And look at this thing. And What's not our, to love about it? One other thing that it's a big advantage, all of our airplane kits are broke down into sub kits to spread okay. out the cost over time. So you can just time. take it a chunk at a time. You then. can build a wing kit, an impenage kit, a fuselage kit, a landing gear kit, an engine package. So it's all broke down so that it's not all at one time. So we try to help out. So it's kind of a finance program yes. of a sort. Yes. So we pay and, as you go. And we even have a starter kit for a fin and rudder for yeah. just over a hundred bucks. Just to see if you can deal see with if it's your, if you're a cup of tea. Sounds like a great plan to be. Where can we go on the web and get more information about Team it. Minimax, David? TeamMinimax.com. Pretty simple. Simple as that. We are on Facebook, and you don't need a Facebook account to view it. All right. Sounds cool. Well, I've covered and got to fly back in the days of uh, Wayne Ison many of the Minimax models. You can find that. You can find more about the new, new products from the new company. All of that's available for uh, Portable Aviation on ByDanJohnson.com. Thanks for joining David Cooper and myself here at AirVenture Oshkosh. Thank you.